Hi, I love the smell of vanilla candles, and this is E.S. Einstein here. Imagine a monster, a super monster, that can swallow the whole earth and the sun we love. A monster that can destroy everything it touches. Not a mortal monster, no, a black hole. As of now, we don't know much. We can't see them, we can't get near one. The only thing we have to do is look at the effects it has on the objects around it. So, I was in class and I was wondering about our sun. Could it ever come a black hole? Could it swallow us whole? So I asked my teacher, and she said, first of all, it's a G2V star. The G2 means its surface temperature, and the V means, like most stars, that it's in its main sequence. With a mass of 1.9891 times 10 to the 30 kilograms, it's not large enough to create heavier elements. While it does create carbon and oxygen in its core, it needs to create iron and silicon, so when it dies, it'll collapse into being smaller than its Schwarzschild radius. The Schwarzschild radius is the distance from the center to the edge in which all the object's mass would have to be squeezed into so that the escape velocity of the object will equal and exceed the speed of light. The formula for the Schwarzschild radius is equal to 2g, which is the gravity consistent of the universe, times the object's mass over the speed of light squared. So, in the case of our sun, which has a radius of one solar radius, or about 695,500 kilometers, would have to change to about 3,000 kilometers for it to turn into a black hole. For our sun, it's simply not big enough in mass terms. A black hole needs enough mass to collect in the center of the star. A giant star can do this as all the heavier elements sink to the center and from the weight of the rest of the star get crushed together and then when the star goes supernova, a super dense core will be left. Okay, so I kind of get this. So it needs a super dense object formed by the original gravity and pressure of the star so its escape velocity is greater than the speed of light. Thinking about it, what does a black hole look like? I've seen many artist interpretations where it's been a funnel and ball. Now, if they are a funnel, where does it come out? A white hole, maybe? Funnel comes from when you draw a black hole in a grid. A 3D grid where it shows the dimensions, but also the effects and other things due to gravity. A normal star will look like this, where a black hole looks more like this, a funnel. And as other objects interact with it, it falls into the funnel and towards the singularity. No one can tell for certain what a black hole looks like. By definition, it can't be seen as no light escapes. But I can say what scientists predict it will look like through simulations, as it would be an object with infinite curvature, as all the matter is being crushed into infinite density by the infinite gravity. But for me, gravity seems to make things into spheres. So, I'm going to stick with that. A white hole appears in general relativity, and it's hard to explain as it only really makes sense in maths. When it is applied to any situation, it simply could never exist. In the theory, they appear all over the place, but also they disappear as soon as matter appears. So, even if there was a white hole before the universe, it would be long gone now. After my lesson, I would go home and look at my computer. I mean, in physics, what you learn in lesson is never enough. I came across a term which confuses me, dormant and active black holes. First thing I could relate to is volcanoes, which is pretty much correct. A dormant black hole is a black hole where things orbit around it, but don't necessarily fall in. Not to say they don't fall in, just not very often. Whereas an active black hole just munches on everything that comes in its way. They're often referred to when talking about the supermassive black holes in the cores of galaxies. The Milky Way, for example, has a dormant black hole, where M77, a Messier object, has an active black hole. So, some black holes don't consume everything. They act like stars. So if we replace our sun with a black hole of the same density, we would be fine. Is a black hole actually black? First impressions would say yes, as they can emit no light, but Stephen Hawking predicts that black holes are not black at all. He came up with Hawking radiation. Hawking radiation predicts that black holes emit a faint glow because of a quantum physics idea which is being carried out. I will do a separate video on Hawking radiation soon, so I won't go into much detail. Now, I'm off to buy some vanilla candles. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe for more videos. This is the Eccentric Scientist signing off. Bye!